I think it's safe to say that many of us have our own personal phone and computers, and having the ability to connect both of them together is a feature that we would love to have. Apple users, you know what I'm talking about. The seamless integration between iPhone and Macs is perhaps the best example, and until now, still the best implementation of a harmonious connection between both devices. Being an Android and Windows user myself, I do feel a tad bit jealous that Apple users get to use this excellent feature. And I'm not gonna lie, I do wish that I can do that on my own phone and computer. Now, there is actually a way to link up an Android phone to a Windows computer. Have you ever come across an app on your computer called Your Phone? If you haven't, then this video might change your experience in using your phone and computer. Before we start, you need to keep your expectations at the door because while it's a pretty good software to use, it is not as advanced as Apple's ecosystem. To link your phone to your computer is a very simple process. Download the app from the Play Store and then getting them to work is simply as logging into your Hotmail or Microsoft account on both your phone and computer. But if you do have the later Samsung phones, the Your Phone app is built into the phone so you will just have to have your Microsoft account logged into the phone. Now that you have gotten your phone and computer linked up, let's explore what you can do with the app. So let's go through the features one by one. The first thing you will see is the notification tab, which basically shows you all your notifications on your phone. You can also reply in the notification just like how you would do on your phone. Moving on is messages. I found this feature to not be very useful as it only shows you the messages from your SMS app and not from WhatsApp, Telegram or even Facebook Messenger. Next are pictures and again, pretty self-explanatory. You can browse all the pictures on your phone and it even gives you the ability to delete them or copy them over to your computer. Just remember, if you delete them from the program, they will be deleted from your phone as well. Next is app and this is where the fun bit comes in. So remember when Microsoft said that Android apps can run natively on Windows 11? Well, you technically can do that with the Your Phone app on Windows 10. When you click on an app, it will launch up a window with your phone mirrored and running the app. And you can use your mouse to navigate around. Aside from that, you can also just mirror your phone by pressing its picture on the top left of the screen. But I think the best feature of this app is the ability to share your copy clipboard between your phone and computer. This means as as long as you have your phone connected to the computer, text and files that you copy on your computer will also be saved to your phone's clipboard. If you prefer not to have this feature, you can easily turn it off in the settings menu. But do note this feature only works on Samsung phones, specifically the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and beyond. While this is a great step forward in terms of bridging the gap between Android and Windows, there are some user experience improvements that need to be done. For one, while the mirror mode is really nice, it kinda shutters and lags quite a bit even while being on the same network. And this is especially tricky when you're trying to swipe down for your notifications. On the other hand, while it is nice that you can launch up any app on your computer from the phone, it would be nice that it launches up, for example, the WhatsApp desktop app rather than a mirror of the phone app on the computer. But perhaps the most frustrating issue I have with this app is the inability to transfer any files from my computer to the phone. There is a workaround for this and it requires you to mirror your phone and then dragging and dropping the file into the mirror window. Now I know that it doesn't even come close to what Apple has, but credit where credit is due. The steps that both companies are taking to go up against Apple's unshakable ecosystem is slowly showing its worth. Give it a bit more time and eventually, it might just get there. And finally, the Apple fans can't use the same line against us. Yeah, but do you have airdrop though? Let me know in the comments if you are using this app or plan to. Don't forget to say subscribe for more content like this and I will see you in the next video.